All right, well, as pickleball's popularity soars, so have injuries. DC News Now evening anchor Chris Flanagan spoke with Dr. Alex Johnson, a Bethesda based orthopedic surgeon at Johns Hopkins about the spike in pickleball injuries they've seen. Their conversation is what's going around. And we see, you know, seniors and uh, youth playing pickleball and playing pickleball together, which is wonderful. Um, but, you know, you do have to be careful. Uh, something that we have tend to see um, recently is falls. And so I think just just being careful and playing at, at, at a comfortable level uh, for, for you, I think is really, really important. And uh, so, you know, for, for maybe some of our seniors, it's more falls. Uh, for some of our younger athletes playing pickleball, it could be um, tennis elbow, uh, those types of injuries, shoulder, uh, uh, shoulder kind of tendonitis and that sort of thing. And again, that could be something as simple as the way that you're holding the racket or, um, you know, maybe not warming up properly. What about for all the weekend warriors out there getting off the couch, uh, perhaps working out for the first time uh, this summer? What recommendations do you give them? What advice do you give them to, to stay healthy? So you just got to go. Um, you, you don't want to go too quickly and getting back into activities. And, you know, I tell patients all the time, uh, you can't, if you hurt or you have an injury or you have pain, you're not going to be able to do anything that you uh, enjoy doing. So you just have to go nice and slow and progressively work up uh, to your activities. Every joint in your body, whether your shoulder or knee, uh, it kind of has a limit of function for that point in, in your life. And, uh, and you don't want to exceed that limit. Now, you can increase that limit over time as you get stronger and as you increase your endurance. So it can be something as simple as, say, you're wanting to get out and run and you know, maybe you start by, uh, you know, you walk the uh, walk the, the curves and then you run the straighter ways and, and then you just kind of ramp up a little bit as as you go. And, and that generally can keep us out of trouble with a lot of these conditions. Yeah, certainly some great advice there. Dr. Johnson, always appreciate it. Thanks for uh, coming on. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.